ginger beer taste test. Hey friends, I'm gonna be doing something a little different today. I went out and I bought up all the ginger beer I could get my hands on. And today I'm gonna be doing a taste test for you. And I'm gonna be tasting them and grading them on a scale. I've got three different categories, sweetness. And I don't necessarily mean how sweet it tastes, but rather is it an enjoyable amount of sweetness compared to everything else that's going on in that brand. Gingeriness. And again, it's not necessarily the spice level of the ginger, but rather, is it an enjoyable amount of ginger? Character. And that's basically, is there anything else about this one that kind of sets it apart or adds a little bit more interest? So, without further ado, let's get right to it. To begin, I'll pour each ginger beer into the cup with its name, and then I'll hide them inside another cup with a number. I'm doing this at random, with the numbers turned away from me, so it is truly a blind taste test. Once they're all filled, I rearrange them in numerical order, and then I'll go back through and rate each one. Today, we will be trying Goslings, Barretts, Goya Jamaican Style, Reed's Original, Reed's Strongest, Fever Tree, Q Mixers, San Pellegrino, Schweppes, Bundaberg, Trader Joe's, DG Genuine, Citadella, Main Root, and Brooklyn Crafted. All right, let's get started. Cup number one. It's kind of thick, syrupy. Pleasantly sweet. Very little gingeriness. A little bit of a chemical taste. It's light, it's drinkable. Not that bad. It's getting better as I think about it. Number two. Ooh. This one has a very, a very musty flavor. Kind of like a basement. Or maybe it's like a molasses kind of taste going on. I really don't like that at all. The sweetness is nice, the mouthfeel pretty good. Very little ginger, that's what's odd. The character, it is interesting what it's got going on. I'm not sure that I like it. Okay, this one's light. Ooh, it's got a developing pepperiness, for sure. It's more peppery than gingery. It's not very sweet. It's drinkable. It's not very gingery and it's not very sweet. It just tastes strong. The gingeriness comes out in the end, but the first hit is almost like a pepper, like a peppercorn flavor. Number four. I don't like that at all. Oh, like a dark, kind of molasses-y, kind of like an old musty basement smell. Taste. Ooh, ooh. Very little ginger. Mm, mm. No, I can't say much I like about that. Number five. That's quite a change from the others. It's more citrusy, it's more syrupy, it's got a little bit of uh, other kinds of spices going on in there. Like a clove, maybe, very little. It tastes a bit like cough syrup. No, I don't think I like that at all. Well, that's different. It's very light. It's more like a soda. It's actually like a watered down soda. It's not gingery at all, it's not peppery. It's not even like ginger ale. It's like a ginger beer and a Coke and a bunch of melted ice put together. That one is very disappointing. 
No, I don't have anything good to say about that one. This one's very clear. And again, this one has no taste. I'm actually surprised. It's not very sweet. It's not gingery. It's not peppery. It's again, it's like a watered down soda flavor. A little bit more of a citrus taste than the first one. I don't like it at all. I don't have anything good to say about that. That one really sticks with you. This one's got big bubbles, like a soda. It almost looks like a ginger ale. Very, very spicy. I would guess, what number is this? Eight, I would guess this is the Reed's strongest, just because of what it said on the label. That spice really stays with you. Not much sweetness. I'm not sure if what I'm tasting is citrus. It's a little bit like, like disinfected. Kind of like that really fake citrusy taste. No, this one is not good. Okay. Got something different here. This is very cloudy. It sort of has like a cloudy taste. Like there's not a whole lot that really stands out at front. The sweetness is pleasant. Got a medium gingeriness. It doesn't taste like real ginger. This tastes like a ginger flavoring, which kind of works well. It's more like a gingery soda, but not in the ways that these tasted like watered down soda. This one actually is drinkable. This is not bad for people that are not that much into ginger. Eh, it's okay. Last one for the second row. Oh. Oh, that is bad. Like dishwater, like your sink backs up and you've got dishwater. It's sort of murky, it's cloudy. The flavor is murky. Honestly, this one just makes me wanna go, you should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you? See, even my kitchen hates this one. This isn't like any of them so far. It's very light. It's more fruity. No spice at all. No, it's like pineapple and lemon, which is interesting. Not what I'm looking for in a ginger beer, but it's very drinkable. The sweetness is very nice. The gingery, oh, it's gonna score pretty low for that. But as far as character, I'll give that some points for character because it is an enjoyable drink. The first flavor is not good. It kind of mellows out a bit. It's very artificial tasting. It tastes like cleaner, very little ginger. It's not even that sweet. More of a soda mouthfeel. Not much complexity going on. Yeah, that's disappointing. Number 13. Surprisingly chalky for a liquid. Sort of astringent, very artificial. Not exciting at all. No, not good. The sweetness is decent. The gingeriness is, is just off. Final two. This is another one that just kind of tastes like a glorified soda. Lemon lime flavor added in there. The gingeriness is not very good. Decently sweet, but again, it's more soda-ish. I feel the burn of the ginger, but it doesn't have a, a gingery flavor in my mouth. Here's the final one. It'd be really nice if this blows me away. And it did not. It's got a very thick taste, sort of like a caramel. It's cough syrupy again. It's kind of that melted honey and lemon 
which is not that bad when you think about it. In fact, it's starting to grow on me. I don't taste any ginger at all. It's very lemony, very like kind of like honey, brown sugary, maple syrupy. Not at all what I'm looking for in a ginger beer, but is it terrible? No. Okay, time to tally up all the results and see what we've got. And now for the exciting part, we're gonna find out which ones were the best and which ones we can forget about. All right, so here's the final results. In first place, number three. In second place is number 11. And then tied for third is number nine and number one. I'm just gonna taste them again real quick. Number nine wins. My top three choices. In first place, San Pellegrino. That was my number one pick. Number two, Bundaberg. Interesting. Number three, Fever Tree. Not surprising that this made it to the top three. This is everyone's favorite. Now let's take a look at the bottom three. Schweppes. Interesting. Goya. And Citadella. I can honestly say, if these bottles were not expired, nobody should be drinking them. Number 10 was the worst. That was the Citadella. Avoid at all costs. So there you have our winners. In first place, the San Pellegrino, second place, Bundaberg, and third place, Fever Tree. Now I might say one and three are the perfect size for using as mixers, since they come in at around seven ounces, whereas the Bundaberg is just over 12 ounces, probably best enjoyed on its own. While I save the best ones for drinking, the brands that are only so-so can still be used to make recipes. I'll share a few videos about that in the future. As for the rest of them, you know what to do. I'll put the full ranking in the description box below. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites or if you have any that I should check out.